Hello everyone, um, welcome to Engineering and Mechanics. Um, in this video, we are going to see example. So um, it is uh, a 2D vector problem. The question is um, determine the magnitude and the direction of the resultant force acting on the post. So as we can see here, uh, we have three forces acting. So the first one is F1, which is 300 Newton, and F2 is 450 Newton. Um, and it is located at 45 degree from the negative x axis and f3 e 600 newton which is given um, in small uh, slope triangle uh, 345 so we are asked to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force acting on the post the first step that we are going to do is to resolve the force in two components of x and y so um, let us um, resolve f2 into x and y so we have here f2 x here we have f2 y which is the vertical component of f2 so f2 is located at 45 degree from the negative x axis so this is f3 x which is the horizontal component of f3 and this is f3 y which is the vertical component of f3 Remember, F1 is the vertical force, so it is x component is 0, so we have only y component force, which is 300 Newton. So, F1 can be expressed in Cartesian vector as 0i plus 300j Newton. F2 is equal to F2 cos theta plus F2 sin theta. F2 cos theta is F2x. We are using cos theta because for 45 degree is adjacent to f2x and opposite to f2y. Um, remember here, we have to make this negative. This because as we can see here, f2x is acting in the negative direction of x axis. So that's why we are putting the negative value. So substituting the value of f2 we will get negative 318.2 i plus 318.2 j alternatively we can measure the angle of f2 from the positive um, x axis so this will be 180 minus 45 degree so this will be uh, 135 degree if you use 135 degree so we don't need to put a negative uh, value here simply we can use cos 135 and because in the second quadrant the value of course is negative simply you can get the negative value without putting the negative uh, sign in front of the f2 coming to f3 uh, as i have tried to explain previously f3 is not given in angle so it's given in small uh, slope triangle as we can see here so we can simply uh, see that we have two triangles the first one is this small triangle and the second one is this big triangle using similarity of triangle simply we can calculate f3x and f3y so similarity of triangle f3x over f3 means f3 is this side divided by this length this hypotenuse so this will be equal to 3 this side divided by 5 so simply we can get f3x is equal to 3 over 5 f3 Similarly, using similarity of triangle, F3y over F3, F3y this side divided by F3 is equal to 4 divided by 5. 4 divided by 5. Simply, you can get F3y is equal to 4 over 5, F3. Finally, F3 will be 3 over 5 times 600i plus 4 over 5 times 600j newton. So, this will be 360i plus 480j newton we can see that um, the three forces f1 f2 and f3 have expressed in cartesian vector so simply we can add the like terms together the second step will be summing up all i and j components respectively so the three forces in Cartesian vector are f1 is 0i plus 
300 J Newton. F2 is minus 318.2 I plus 318.2 J Newton. F3 is 360 I plus 480 J Newton. Therefore, adding the I components, we will get resultant force is equal to 0 minus 318.2 plus 360 I plus the J component is 300 plus 318.2 plus 418 J Newton. Finally, the resultant force can be expressed as 41.8 I plus 1098 J Newton. This is the Cartesian vector form of the resultant force. The third step will be determination of magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. So, from this graph, as we can see here, this is Fx, which is 41.8 Newton, and this is Fy, which is 1098 Newton. So, this is angle theta, and this is the resultant force. Using Pythagorean theorem, because this is a right angle triangle, using Pythagorean theorem, the resultant force is equal to square root of fx square plus fy square. Substituting the values, this will be 41.8 square plus 1098 square. This will be 1099 newton. Finally, the direction of the resultant theta can be calculated using tan inverse. So this is because um, this is right angle triangle. Tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent opposite is of y adjacent is of x fx so theta will be tan inverse of 1098 divided by 41.8 and this will be 87.8 degree